We are following two major breaking stories. First, a school bus near UF Health downtown shot at while children were on board. This is according to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. And in Folkestone, Georgia, a train crash landing three workers in the hospital. Christina Burgess is on your side at that train crash. We'll check in with her in just a minute. But first, yeah, first we want to go out to Andrew Badillo. He is on your side joining us live uh, in the Hogan's Creek area near UF Health uh, downtown where the school bus was shot at. Uh, Andrew, I understand no children were on that bus. Um, no children on that bus were hurt. Yes, no children on the bus were hurt, but there were children on the bus at the time of the shooting. Uh, now, I want to give you guys a little bit of a look as to uh, where we're at right now. We're right off uh, Dr. Roy Baker Drive near UF Health. Um, this bus, uh, this is the bus that we were talking about right here. We're still trying to gather some information as to how all of this unfolded, but I did speak with someone who said they saw the entire incident happen. They said that it started at a nearby apartment complex. That's where the uh, gunfire happened. Um, we are still trying, and, and that's where the school bus was hit. We were told by that person, but we're still trying to figure out how the school bus ended up over here and where the bus was actually shot. Uh, JSO is working to get us more information, and we will bring that to you as we have it. But for now, we can report that uh, no one was hurt in this incident. Um, all of the kids that were on the bus at the time of the shooting are okay and again we're going to bring you much more information as we have it available but for now we're live in the hogan's creek area andrew Badillo, first coast news on your side